Why, hello there. No time for a Freeman rant today, y'all. We have a graduation to get to. Come with me. Macon and Joan Brock classroom in Pleasure House Point Natural Area are our alternative learning space for the Environmental Studies program. It's our home, but at the very heart of what we do is you. As students of the Environmental Studies program, you bring the soul. Now, as graduates of the Environmental Studies program, you are taking what you've learned here and bringing your passions for change and shaping the world the way you want it to be. And I couldn't feel more hopeful for what tomorrow will bring. This time last year, you all were helping to design and execute the first ever graduation ceremony. And here we are today celebrating you full circle. We started this journey together and grew. And when I think back to some of our adventures from owls to kingfishers, those trail magic moments were some of my favorite memories of this time together. You helped cultivate kingfisher culture in this community, with freedom, courage, adventure, and balance. And I'm so eager to see where your next steps take you. At the beginning of this year, I was meeting you all for the first time and learning from you what the Environmental Studies program is all about. And apparently, being part of the ESP means being part of a group of students who aren't afraid of taking risks and paving their own path through life. Where am I headed next can be one of the hardest and most intimidating questions to answer because it's full of unknowns and uncertainty. But as I've learned from you this year, you aren't afraid of tackling unknowns head on. You've all worked so hard to get where you are right now, taking that next step into the unknowns that lie ahead. I'm so excited to see where your curiosity will take you, and I can't wait to hear about your adventures to come. From fiddler crabs to kingfishers, there have been a lot of trail memories these last two years. Now it's time to hear about yours. Hi, I'm Abby Williams. Through the Environmental Studies program, I have gained so many unique experiences, such as getting to work on a research project at Old Dominion University. My incredible internship gave me the opportunity to influence global policy in relation to establishing marine protected areas in the Southern Ocean. My highlight of the program is getting to be named as a co-author in a scientific paper that will be published within the next year. My next steps are to attend and play Division I field hockey at Colgate University in Hamilton, New York. Hi, my name is Angelina from the Environmental Studies Program. I'm going to Virginia Tech with a major in wildlife conservation. <laughs> this program helped me figure out what I wanted to do with my future and expanded my horizons. It gave me so many new opportunities and really changed my perspective on what education looks like. Hi, my name is Ava Goldman and here at the Environmental Studies Program, my biggest accomplishment has been getting to make a surfboard out of a recycled surfboard and completely recycled trash that we got ourselves. Next year, I'm going to Virginia Tech. Go Hokies! Hi, my name is Briggs and I am a senior at the Environmental Studies Program. And what the Environmental Studies Program has taught me is the importance of our natural environment and how we're going to have to preserve and keep it for future generations to come. And I will be continuing my studies at Montana State University in the fall, where I'll be studying environmental science. 
this program has opened up so many new doors for me and through my internship with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation's advocacy team, I've had so many opportunities to get involved with Virginia policy and it's paved the way towards my future. Because of my time here at ESP, I've discovered my true strengths and passions, which is why in the fall I will be heading to George Washington University in DC to study environmental studies and international affairs. My name is Caden Johnson and I plan to attend George Mason University in August in the College of Engineering and in the Honors College so that I can earn a degree to develop sustainable infrastructure and coastal environments. The Environmental Studies program has helped prepare me for a career in environmental engineering by giving me the opportunity to design an outdoor classroom in a coastal environment for the Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge, as well as giving me the opportunity to learn Python coding so that I can model real world environments digitally. I'm CJ White and I am going to Old Dominion University to study cinema production and minor in oceanography. Here at the Environmental Studies program, I had the unique opportunity to serve on city council with the Green Ribbon Committee and I was able to create my own podcast, the Environmental Anecdotes Podcast, where I was able to bring my own classmates on to talk about their experiences. Hi, I'm Kern Lankford, and my favorite part about the Brock Center is always being able to learn outdoors and also the great opportunities it's provided me to help me excel in the future. Next year, I will be attending Virginia Tech for fish conservation while also in the Corp Cadet program. Hi, I'm Dylan, and being a student at the Brock Center has allowed me to grow as a person and also build my skill sets through a plethora of different internships. Most notably, working with Parks and Rec and DWR, being outside, uh, serving on a committee, the Active Transportation Committee, and working with the education team and building my videography skills. In the fall, I'm going to ODU and my major is undecided right now. Hi, my name is Emma Bakshi and through the Environmental Studies program I've accomplished so much. You know, working hands-on in my field at the aquarium has kind of opened my eyes into what my future career could look like and something I could not have accomplished without the Environmental Studies program is last summer I tackled a 12-mile hike in Glacier National Park and that was solely due to the fact that you know in the Environmental Studies program we are outside every day I'm getting used to all kinds of weather conditions and stuff like that so that was really amazing for me. My plans for the future include going to Eckerd College down in St. Petersburg, Florida. The campus is right on the water. Um, they have a great marine biology program, which I will be a part of, and I will also be in their honors college. And hopefully I will get the opportunity down there to do lots of um, travel abroad and internships to kind of figure out where I want to go from there. The Environmental Studies program has helped me accomplish so much in only two years, the greatest of which was helping design an outdoor classroom for Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge with my internship at RBA Architects. My next steps after high school are to attend TCC for two years and then transfer to Virginia Tech to pursue a degree and eventually a career in landscape architecture. Afterwards, uh, while I'm also attending TCC, I also plan to help continue my work with uh, Back Bay to help finish constructing the outdoor classroom. Hello, my name is Flora. Throughout the two years I've been here, my mental health has improved simply by being in this beautiful space. I won't be able to see learning as sitting in a classroom anymore. It's about exploring new topics and connecting with the world around us. I'll be going to SUNY Environmental Science and Forestry. I'll be studying in conservational biology, and even though I don't know specifically what job I want, I know I want it to be something out in the field and working with animals. Hello, I'm Gabe Lerner, a senior in the class of 2023 at the Brock Center. Um, I th the Brock Center has definitely given me a better sense of what I really wanted to do in life, and also given me um, critical experiences to help me in my path forward. And speaking of that path, I will be studying planetary science at the University of Purdue in, or Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. Hello, my name is Ian Lance and I'm a senior here at the Brock Environmental Center. While living so close to the water my entire life, this program has taught me how to protect and preserve our natural resources and wetlands. For the next four years, I'm going to Virginia Tech to study natural resource management. My name is Jacob and I'm a student at the Environmental Studies program. And what this program has taught me is the importance of our waterways and the effect that it has on not only us, but our community as well. 
For my next four years, I'll be attending Coastal Carolina University where I plan on majoring in marine science and also getting my SUBA certification in order to better my skills in the water. Hi, I'm Jacob Wyman and the environmental studies helped me accomplish new understandings of both the underwater and above. For my future plans, I'm going to go to George Mason for kinesiology. Hello, I am Jasmine Slate, a senior at the Environmental Studies program. ESP has provided an outlet for my curiosity and allowed me to use their scope to document osprey and eagle sightings, which I eventually use for my senior project. They also provided an internship. I did my internship with the aquarium. This got me hands-on experience that I wouldn't have been able to get any other way. In the future, I plan to go to TCC for two years and then transfer to a college either Virginia Wesleyan or NC State. I am planning to major in biology and eventually I want to go on and become a, an animal caretaker at a zoo or other wildlife facility. Hi, my name is Juliet Dealey and my favorite part about ESP was the people I've met and being constantly inspired by the classmates around me every day. In the fall, I will be going to the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign to study environmental engineering. Hi, I'm Kat from the Environmental Studies Program and I am continuing my education at TCC and getting my associate's degree. This program has brought me closer to my passions and given me hands-on experience with things like mycology and dendrochronology, which I plan to dig into deeper. Hi, I'm Lauren Antonio. I'm a senior at the Environmental Studies Program and Kellum High School. And this program has given me so much guidance this year. It has helped me take the steps forward to help improve and protect the environment through the very many educational opportunities they provide. This school year, I interned at WPL, a landscape architecture firm, and I hope to pursue this career path as I attend University of Vermont for landscape design. Go Catamounts! <laughs> My name is Lori Martinez and through the Environmental Studies program I got the opportunity to do a necropsy on a diamondback terrapin that was found on Pleasure House Point and I got to be an intern with the Virginia Aquarium to follow my passions for marine conservation. Over the next four years I will be attending Coastal Carolina University to study marine science in their honors program. I would love to study abroad, preferably in Hawaii or Costa Rica, and in my future I would love to work with a nonprofit organization for marine conservation. Hey y'all, my name is Luke and I'm a senior here at ESP and I will be attending Appalachian State University in the fall where I will be majoring in environmental science with the Earth Systems Focus. This program helped narrow down my career choices to be an environmental scientist and help save the world. Hi, my name is Maddie. My favorite thing about the environmental studies program was being around people that have a passion for the environment and love being outdoors. I also really enjoyed having my internship during my senior year. Next year, I'll be uh, majoring in wildlife conservation at Virginia Tech. This program has helped me ignite my curiosity in human health and equity by allowing me to pursue an internship at Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge. With this internship, we get the amazing opportunity to be able to educate fourth graders from Title I schools. And we also are able to bring them the outdoor experience that we get to experience every single day. For my future plans, I plan on going to TCC for two years and then transferring to a four-year institution. And then I will be getting a bachelor's in science. After that, I will be going to med school Hi guys, I'm Madison Pallock and after graduation I'll be enlisting in the United States Coast Guard to be a marine science technician. Some of my favorite high school experiences have derived from being in this program. Bonding with friends, serving as an intern at Chesapeake Bay Foundation, getting hands-on experiences, and much more. Being in the environmental studies program has worked wonders for me, honestly. It's been an honor these past two years and it's really allowed me to discover who I am as an individual and to further my path. Hi, my name is Mariella. The Brock Environmental Studies program has helped shape me into a more environmentally conscious being by allowing me to experience outdoor learning that I wouldn't have been able to indulge in if it weren't for the program. Through my internship, I was able to make an impact on younger students in my community. After I graduate, I plan on attending Virginia Commonwealth University and studying humanities and sciences while building my portfolio to become an actress. 
Hi, my name is Matt, and the Environmental Studies Program has given me countless opportunities to engage with our community on a political level. Whether it's drafting and getting legislation passed through the General Assembly, or presenting an ArcGIS map to City Council to guide infrastructural development, I've been able to create a necessary change that will have a lasting impact on our city and state. This program has really helped me get a hold on what I want to do with my life, which is why in the fall I'll be attending Virginia Tech to study environmental policy and planning. Hi, I'm Morgan, and my biggest accomplishment this year at ESP was being a part of the Princess Anne Remodel and Design, working with HBA Architecture. I'll be attending Virginia Tech in the fall. Go Hokies! The focus on solving real-world problems um, through collaboration and open-ended, flexible curriculum has allowed me to do things that I never would have imagined at ESP, um, like passing two state laws alongside my peers, Matt and Caden, um, and some other classmates. Uh, and then as well as um, things like learning how to drive a tractor and learning about um, composting with my internship at Drishti. So my plans for the future are to attend Harvard University um, for environmental science and policy. And then from there, I plan to um, go into a career related to agriculture and farming, as well as um, something related to policy and food systems. Hi, my name is Ryan Webb, and through my time at the Environmental Studies Program, I have been able to learn and grow in this beautiful property, and I hope to be able to carry that experience with me through my future. I'm going to be continuing my education at NC State's College of Design uh, so that I can pursue a career as an architect. Hi, I'm Riley. The Environmental Studies Program has not only provided me with the tools that I'll need to have as an environmental biologist, but it's also provided me with lifelong connections and friendships. My next step will be majoring in Organismal and Environmental Biology at Christopher Newport University. I chose this major because of my internship at Norfolk Botanical Gardens. Hi, I'm Sine, and having an internship at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and being a Back Bay Ambassador has allowed me to learn more about my community and make amazing bonds with so many new people. After graduation, I will be attending TCC in the fall semester of my freshman year and then transferring to North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. Hey guys, my name is Sarah Ben. I'm a senior at Calum High School in the Environmental Studies program. Um, Ms. McDowell always took us on little walks in the morning, even when it was 30 degrees and we did not want to go. She taught us to enjoy the little things in life and how going on a 10 minute walk can change your day. Next year, I'm going to be taking a cross country trip with my friend Avery and afterwards I'll be going to TCC. Hey, Sebastian Rosalia here. One of the better opportunities I've had at the ESP was at my internship at the Norfolk Botanical Gardens. Being a member of the Norfolk Botanical Garden team has strengthened my passion for plant and wildlife conservation. Even if my career choice isn't directly involved in environmental science, I'm starting to bring these past two years of knowledge and experience into my life, no matter where I go. Hello, I'm Tyler Coyard and I'm a student here at the Environmental Studies Program. And the Environmental Studies Program has given me the unique opportunity to really explore my passions through our internship. And that has really helped me discover what I want to do when I grow up and after college. And I'm going to Ferrum College to play golf and study environmental studies, which will possibly lead into game warden and park ranger work. My name is Victor Pham. I go to Cox High School and I'm a senior in the environmental studies program. This program has allowed me to develop and explore my interests in computer programming at the ODU internship where I was learning skills in Python coding. Being a part of this internship and program has given me the opportunity to continue my interests at Virginia Military Institute where I'll be majoring in computer science and be minoring in cybersecurity. I'm Will. In my time at the Brock Center, I've been able to explore my interest in videography and also build my portfolio for the future. In the fall, I'll be continuing my education at Virginia Tech, pursuing a major in environmental data science. As juniors of the Environmental Studies program, we have been impressed and inspired by the work that the seniors have done and the path that you guys have carved for us. And now we are happy to carry this legacy from now and beyond. You gave us the directions and now we are very happy to follow them. In the classic children's book, The Law X by Dr. Seuss, it states that unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, Nothing is going to get better. It's not. It is that when you have the dedication and willpower to speak out your concerns and change something for the greater, the world as we know it will remain the same. This is what the Environmental Studies Program at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation stands for, a call to action and to the community. And this graduating cohort of seniors perfectly demonstrates that.